Hey everyone, it's Pat. A couple of days ago, Miss Created was released from Alpha, and now we have the ability to host our own servers locally. I decided to make a video on it, walking you through the steps necessary to get one up and running. The first step you'll need to do is open up some ports on your router. This will allow the server to communicate with the outside world. With so many routers out there, you'll need to look up your specific router and learn about port forwarding. It's really not that difficult, just follow the directions on how to do it for your specific router. I have a Netgear router and the page looks something like this. Forward port 64090 through 64094. This will open up the three ports plus one port to set up Archon later. Once you have your ports forwarded properly, you can begin the process of installing your server. I know there is a tool that you can download from Steam, but I really haven't used it yet, so I'm not covering it here. Next, you need to go to the root directory of the drive that you wish to use for your server. I have mine on drive D, so I'm going to be using that as an example. Once in the root directory, make a folder called Steam CMD. Next, follow the link below. It will take you to the Valve development page and download the steamcmd.zip file. The website is very easy to navigate, so you shouldn't have any problems. Once the download finishes, extract the steamcmd.zip into the Steam CMD folder that you just made. Once it's extracted, run the exe file. It will open a shell and install the Steam command files. Once it has completed, type quit and exit out. Now it's time to make the batch file that will install, maintain, and run your server. You will use this batch file every time you start your server. Create a new folder for your server in the root directory of the same hard drive that you made the Steam CMD folder in. This is going to be the server file. For example, open that folder and create a new text file. In that text file, you're going to make the startup file for your server. In the description below is my batch file as an example. Remember, my server is on my D drive, so you'll need to change the drive letter to whatever drive you're going to use. The script will start your server, update it if there are any updates available, validate the server's files, and once all that's done, it'll run your server. Now that you have made the batch file, place it in the server folder that you have made. The batch file that is provided below will install, update, and run your server. The only thing that you will need to change in this is your hard drive letter and possibly the folder name of your server if you wish to name it something other than what's in the file. So now the time has come, you're gonna run your batch file that you just made. Double click on it. It's gonna open up a shell and proceed with the install. Once the install is complete, it will run the server for the first time. Now it's gonna take a bit of time to install, so I've sped the video up for time's sake. Once you get to the voice over IP at the bottom of the server shell, the server is up and running. Click on the bracket at the bottom of the screen and type in quit. Be sure to close all the shells down as it's going to try and restart your server. When it completes, you need to make another text file and name it hosting.cfg. This gets placed in the server's folder along with the bat file that you made earlier. The hosting config file is what sets your server's parameters such as time of day, etc. There's a readme file that installed in the server's folder that has all the command lines. Be sure to add the ones that you want. You can delete the ones you don't. Also be sure to delete everything behind the command. The command and the info of what that command does are separated by the dash. So you'll delete everything from the dash on. Well that's pretty much it for the basics of getting it set up and running. Now I'm sure you want to actually play on it. Well, I hope this helps you. If something doesn't work out out of all this, chances are it's going to be in your port forwarding. If you do like what you see, great. I hope you have fun playing on your own server. Have a great day.